All right, Shalom and Lakim. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who y'all already call God. And Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who y'all already call Jesus Christ. Of course, I want to uh, give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who go well. Of course, I want to say peace and salutation to all the sincere Akim that's putting their lives on the line is good truth. All right, I am the brother of Mafa, and I'm from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon. And Philadelphia, PA. All right. Right now, I'm going to a uh, lead lesson on um, growing up in this truth. All right, and um, you know, being a man. All right, just a couple of precepts and such. All right, a couple of scriptures. All right, nothing long. All right. So uh, this is uh, First Samuel 18, and uh, that'd be 14, and it reads. And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord Yahweh was with him. Okay, so uh, King David, of course, he uh, behaved himself. All right, and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, which uh, is going to be keeping, of course, the law, statutes, commandments. All right, um, which uh, if you are uh, a Negro, Latino, or Native American, you are of the twelve tribes of Israel, and uh, you. Uh, you know, are a Hebrew Israelite, right? And that's your uh, bloodline, and that's what uh, we go back to. Our forefathers are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and uh, some of our forefathers, such as David, all right, um, he uh, behaved himself wisely, all right, and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? And that's, of course, how Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to be with us, all right? Um, so just to quickly go into, um, you know, that word uh, wisely, all right? Um, of course, what it means, of course, to, uh, to be wise, uh, like, well, behave wise, being circumspect, all right, prudent, all right, to act wisely, all right, so, you know, in, in Yahabah Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, you're going to, as a man, uh, be wise, okay, you're not gonna be, uh, like that old man, and that's the point of this lesson, okay? You, 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 uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have been little kids for too long, all right? You know, you, you, you have, uh, you know, been walking in the ways of the world and, um, and not in the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? And that's why most of you, or two thirds of you, to be exact, are gonna get destroyed. Sixty-six percent of you gonna be destroyed by Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? Uh, the next precept I'm going to go on to is, sec uh, is, is going to be 2 Samuel 22 and 31. It reads, um, As for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord Yahweh is tried, and he is a buckler to all of them that trust him. Okay? So Yah the way of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is perfect. His law, statutes, and commandments is perfect. Okay? See, you got this light shining on me, right, directly, you know, it's, 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 it's bright, you know. Um, but uh, the ways is perfect, all right? Um, so, let's easily go into that uh, word. Uh, first, you going back to the ancient Hebrew, all right? Um, to that word perfect, okay? It means, of course, um, to be, uh, it's, it's like it means whole, sound, helpful, wholesome. Uh, complete, all right. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's word is is perfect. It's without blemish. Okay, that's that's in there, and it's upright. Okay, that's that's how it is. All right. Um, you see all this brightness is you know it's shining on me and, and it's bright. Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai word is bright. All right and bright. Okay, and it's gonna shine light on uh, you know everything. All right. Uh, it's gonna show you that you're you're wicked because uh, two thirds of our people, you know, are are of course walking in the ways of uh, the world, and uh, of course, uh, you know, we of the hopeful elect, you know, we walking in the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, we uh, put this down a little bit. Uh, we uh, are having, of course, everything be shown through the law of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so. Um, 
Uh, let's go back to that word. Uh, he is a buckler to all of them that trust in him. Okay? So, we're going to go into that uh, word. Okay? So, that word, uh, the Hebrew word for, uh, you say, buckler, is going to be ma. All right? Let me pronounce it out real quick. My God, my God, and uh, I'll get the last word real quick, and then that'll be it. Um, my God, my God, gone, my God. All right, all right. If I'm pronouncing that right, but that that means, of course, a uh, uh, shield, okay, a defense, okay. So, you know. The word of Yahweh Shem is a defense, okay, for, of course, the elect, all right? The, you see how bright this light then get? It's bright. This light getting brighter and brighter, all right? And, and that's how this truth is, okay? So, um, you know, you Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, y'all need to put off uh, all of this uh, being a kid stuff because when you see these law, statutes, and commandments, all right, you see you're not supposed to cut uh, your... your uh, Cut off your beard, and you're not supposed to uh, be a punk. You're supposed to be uh, a man, all right. Uh, you're supposed to have be in order and uh, be uh, under your how about shimmy all shy, all right. You niggas has been been living wild, and that's the problem with y'all. Y'all want to be all disorderly and out of conduct. Y'all don't even care what y'all do. And this truth, you know, it requires, of course, you to to know and be circumspect what you're doing, okay, and what's going on around you, all right? Uh, to behave yourself, obviously, wise, just as David has done, okay? Um, so uh, I'm going to go to the uh, next precept. This is um, this is 1 Corinthians 3, uh, sorry, 1 Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things, okay? So let's go into that, uh, you know, to get a deeper meaning or a deeper understanding of this, all right? Because it's important to know, to, you know, when you come in this truth, you got to put away, um, you know, your old ways and such, all right? 13, 11. And put on the ways of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, all right? So first Corinthians thirteen. Alright. Slocky one second. Thirteen and eleven. Alright, so you go into that word where it says uh, to put away. You get this word kata or something like that. I mean uh let it play out. Strong's G, 2673, Katar Gale. Right. And that means, of course, uh, to, 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 to cause to cease, to put an end, to do away with, abolish, annul, okay? So when you come into this, uh, this truth, you know, you have to put away you know, being a, a young child, you know, be, being a childish and, and, and kiddish, you know, in this world, okay? Because, uh, you know, outside of this truth, all right, you ain't nothing, okay? But um, just a, somebody who's just doing nothing but foolishness, okay? When you come in this truth, it's going to actually build you up and make you become a man, okay? Um, and that's what it requires of you. All right, it requires you to come into this as a fresh newborn babe, all right? And then, of course, you're going to grow and you're going to become a man, all right? So let me go to that uh, childish things, okay, just to get an, a deeper understanding, okay? So put a, uh, put away, we can clear that up. Not pay ills for childish things, all right? That's the uh, Greek word. All right, there, because you got to go into the original text to get the deeper understanding. All right, so childish things. All right, um, you got uh, childish, uh, uh, untaught, uh, 
immature, simple-minded person, okay? So, you know, you, you, you got to put off being, being childish, okay? And being untaught. Because when you come into this truth, you're going to be taught. You're going to be taught by the other Akim, all right? The, the elders uh, at Great Millstone are going to bring forth, of course, uh, you know, that, uh, the, 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 you know, that deep, deep, deep wisdom out of understanding, which, that, of course, they give, of course, to the other Akim. All right, other brothers, and they teach it on to, of course, the, the, you know, the new brothers that's coming into the fold and all that. You know, me being one new new brother to the uh, faith, all right? Waking up, all right? So, you know, you got to put off, of course, the childish things, all right? The ways of thinking, how you used to be, and, and how you used to think, you got to put that all away, all right? So let's go to another precept. This is uh, Ephesians. Four and twenty-two. All right. It reads that ye put off concerning the former conversations, so I get, uh, f f former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. All right. So let's let's go into that. Okay. What you're, of course, you're doing. Okay. You're, you're putting off, you know, all of them old ways. Okay. Now, just to go into it, that word conversation, okay? So you get this word right here, this Greek word, anastrophe. Let's see. Anastrophe. Yeah. Anastrophe. All right. And that, you know, so form of conversation. That's the manner of life, conduct, behavior, okay? So you're going to put off your old behavior, the way you used to conduct yourself, okay? You're going to start to come and in, in, into the truth. And, and conduct yourself as a man of the Lord, all right, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Alright, All right, that's pretty plain. All right, you got the sun setting and everything. I got to change the light and all of that, you know, because of uh, darkness. We don't want no darkness in this, you know. Not to be vain, but, you know, got to be in the light. But anyway, um, you're going to put off all of that, okay? Um, corrupt, all right? Yeah, kata. All right, all right, slacky. It's not it. It's um, slacky. One second. For corrupt, you get this uh, word. Pathi. Thyro. Strong's G. Fifty three fifty one. Thyro. 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 All right. So, you get this word uh, corrupt. You know. So. Um. That's something, that, of course, that's going to defile yourself, okay? So you're going to put off all the things that's going to defile you, which is what it's going to be. Uh, anything that's outside of the temple, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Everything that's against the law, statutes, commandments. All right, eating pork, you know, uh, having uh, sex on a Shabbat, uh, you know, all type of different things. You're going to, of course, uh, abstain from, all right? That's outside of uh, the temple, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And you're going to go by his laws, okay? Uh, and, and that's gonna make you a man, all right? So, um, you know, I got uh, uh, one more last precept uh, to, to finish it off with. You know, I wanna um, keep uh, <laughs> you, you, you uh, simple Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, uh, you know, which Jake is simple, you know, so the you know, attention span is very short, so you gotta keep it short, all right? This is. Uh, this is, uh, I'm going to start at Job 30, 38 and 1. It reads, Then the Lord Yahweh answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Job, who was a prophet, all right? Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Who is this that darkened counsel by words without knowledge? Uh, it goes on and says, Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I demand of thee, and answer thou me. Okay? All right, so... You know, you, you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans need to gird up your, your your loins, all right, like a man, all right. You know, uh, to, to 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 actually grow up, okay, all right, and, and become men, all right, of the of, of Yahab Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right. So, gird up. I'm gonna go into that that word right there. All right. So the Hebrew word. Right here is, we got, uh, 
This is Azah Saki, one second. Uh, Azar Azar Alright, so that's what it is Azar And and that means, of course uh, Like, gird, for gird up your loins Alright, you're gonna You're going to, of course, equip, clothe Okay, so you're gonna gird yourself up You're gonna clothe yourself up Meaning, like, you're gonna equip yourself Like a man of Yahab Bashem Yahushai Alright, you know you're, you're, you're gonna conduct yourself in Yahab Bashem Yahushai you're going you're gonna to put off all those childish ways, all right? Your former conduct, all right? All right, so uh, with that, you know, hopefully it was edifying, brothers. Uh, you know, a lot of y'all need to get out of y'all uh, emotions and get out of being uh, like the world, all right? Be like a man of the Lord of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Because the coming times, it ain't no joke. You're going to have to be a man of the Lord to be delivered, all right? You, uh, you know, of the whole full elect, all right? So... No, hopefully that was edifying. And with that, I'm gonna say, Rakh Dayi Hawa, Rakh Dayi Hawa Shai, Rakh Dayi Hawa Bashem Yahu Shai, Wa, Call Halal Yahu Bashem Yahu Shai. All right, Shalom.